Hello everyone, um, we're going to Italy. I kind of waited to start this actual video because we totally got psyched out the last time we tried going to Italy. Uh, roll the footage. I'm editing the Italy vlog and the last time I cleaned out my SD card, I guess I deleted my entire intro. That sucks. How do we feel that we're actually here right now? So excited! I can't believe it. Right? <laughs> Literally, we've been scared all week for this moment right here. We were so worried that we wouldn't get on the actual flight, but uh, we're now finally we doing to this. Get on the plane and to the airport. Just on get the on the plane. The, the flight attendant did say that I'm not allowed to record, so I'm just gonna keep this low. <laughs> two hours. T minus two hours till we touch down in the Two hours later. <laughs> we're here. So we just got to Claudia's relative's house and it is amazing. Uh, we're so grateful that we get to stay here. So they were just talking to Claudia and she was able to like understand it, but uh, for the most part. <laughs> But then me and Annie were just there and we were like, we were just looking at each other like, yep. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I tried asking them, I showed them my phone, I was like, do you have Wi-Fi here? And then, yeah, and then he started to talk to me and I'm just like, yep. <laughs> got to uh, Palermo and I realized that I forgot the battery to my camera on the first day of vacation. This entire week I've been having technical difficulties. First Final Cut Pro stops working for me and then I forget my battery so. Shoes suck. Okay, we're trying to touch it. That's the goal. Oh my gosh, my gym shoes are gonna get soaked. Ah, uh, yes! Woo! And I almost fell. You know, I have to say, it's really nice to be on the beach. Around like two years ago, over two years ago, it was before COVID. I was in Florida for winter break and I was at the ocean, like right on the coastline of the Atlantic. I knew that I wanted to travel the world and I had kind of been like on and off about studying abroad at that point. And then that's when I looked out into the to the dark, dark ocean out there. And I said to myself, as I was looking, I was like, I don't know what is on the other side of that ocean. I don't know what's out there. I don't know where it leads to. But what I do know, there is somewhere that I want to go. Right, right over there. Right over there on the other side of the ocean, that's where I want to be. The next step I have to take is to get on a plane and go there. That's what I'm going to do. There's a bunch of jellyfish swimming down here, but I think they're all dead. There's another one. Maybe not. Whoa. We spotted some jellyfish that were washed up. It's the next day. We have been waiting at the airport for around like two hours now. Uh, we checked in our bags and we are about to board to go to Rome. And we're gonna see things like the Colosseum and what else do we have Vatican planned? City. Vatican City. We have a nice Airbnb that's out there. We had an amazing time with Claudia's family. They're amazing. Their hospitality was just so great. And I love them. But yeah, on to the next destination. Informing that the overhead compartments are reserved for trolleys and bus and only. 
you know, even for a small of a plane that this is, that's probably the hardest I've ever slept. And it was just an hour, but I slept really good. We are officially in Rome. We're the last people to get off of this airplane. We're kind of like stressed out and we're kind of tired and a little burnt out. Uh, just from today, it's all been like trains and other places, but this is what it's all about. Traveling is, it just comes with it. And I feel like we tend to lose sight of why we do these things. So now that we're here, we and could we're going to the Sicily enjoy. Chapel today. We are going to the Sicily Adam. Chapel. That's gonna be awesome. And then the Vatican, and then the Colosseum was sold out for today, so we're gonna try it tomorrow. But yeah, um, it's good that we, now that we're here, we just get to like sit and like appreciate what's in front of us. Cause it's uh, been a hassle, and we're not even halfway done with this trip. A couple hours later, we are having food in Italy. It's awesome. We have an amazing waiter, as you can see today. <laughs> and so, what did you get today? I got linguine al pesto. Awesome. And then Annie? I don't know what mine is in Italian, but it's gnocchi for al formaggio. Ah, so gnocchi and cheese. <laughs> and then I also got gnocchi, but it has a little bit more. Do you know? Um, I, I don't know what it's. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. And then we also got wine, so cheers. Glad to be here with y'all. Spring break is going amazing. That waiter that made an appearance in the video, what ended up happening, Annie? Um, I was getting a photo to send to my parents of just me, and then he's like, let me get into it, let me get into it. I was like, okay. So he took a photo. They took for... a selfie just randomly. <laughs> yeah, and then he like walked away, and I was like, all right, whatever. And he comes back, and he's like, your Instagram? And I'm like, you want my Instagram? Like, and he's like, no, the photo. Um, so basically, he followed me on Instagram and I had to send him the photo because he wanted the photo. I was very confused, but... Mm, yeah, he wanted the photo. He didn't want to directly ask for the Instagram. He asked yeah. for the photo so that he could that eventually slide into your DM. Yeah, his yeah, yeah, way yeah. of like crawling in there, all sly and everything. <laughs> Clever. She tried to be but... slick. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is day two in Rome and we are having breakfast and we have a pretty nice view. I'd have to say so myself, it's not because it's the Colosseum or anything. <laughs> and then it's alright. So we're walking back to the Colosseum and we just got drawn into a street vendor scam. <laughs> so this guy came up, he was super chill, obviously. He's really nice. Yes, yes, he's nice because that's how they act towards you. Okay. And then he's like, oh, let me give you something from my country. So he puts this bracelet on, ties it super tight so we can't take it off. And then um, then he's like, good. And so now like, uh, like you're one of me and then he shows like a picture of like his, his baby on his, uh, his wallpaper. And he's like, do you have anything so I could uh, uh, help my baby? I'll be seeing her tomorrow. And then, of course, and then he, he doesn't let you go until you pay him money. I knew that was going to happen as soon as we got these braces. I was like, I think you could have said no, though. But you, know, you just feel so yeah. bad that you just can't. <laughs> because the thing is, we went up to him and then he, he like greeted us and he's like, here, let me give you a free bracelet. And so that's how he gets you. I'd say that the Roman Colosseum is pretty cool. Okay, can we talk about how they just did Obama so dirty? Like, he needs a fresh lineup. His suit is not tailored. His ears all bit up. This does not look like Obama. Oh, that's so creepy. And even Trump, he's a little too skinny and that doesn't look like him. His eye from away looks like 
Ooh. Look, he has the, the Trump is hand. Is actually how tall he is? This can't be right. Hope you guys have been enjoying the travel vlogs. I'm having a great time in Italy. We saw the Colosseum. We saw a bunch of other things. And if you enjoyed this video, well, I have three more travel vlogs coming out because after this trip, we are going straight to Switzerland. We're actually going there tonight. And then Greece and Croatia. So I'm going to be getting four videos out of this entire two-week period. And then after that, we only have two more weeks left in the UK, which is uh, pretty crazy to think about that we have that short of a time. So. Yeah.